vagus nerve as modulator in the brain gut axis in psychiatric and inflammatory disorders. This was published online March 13, 2018 in Frontiers in Psychiatry in the National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. Author Singrid Brett, Alexandra Kufferberg, Gerhard Rockler, and Gregor Hasler. Abstract. The vagus nerve represents the main component of the parasympathetic nervous system, which oversees a vast array of crucial bodily functions, including control of mood, immune response, digestion, and heart rate. It establishes one of the connections between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract and sends information about the state of the inner organs to the brain via afferent fibers. In this review article, we discuss various functions of the vagus nerve, which makes it an attractive target in treating psychiatric and gastrointestinal disorders. There is preliminary evidence that vagus nerve stimulation is a promising add-on treatment for treatment refractory depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and inflammatory bowel disease. Treatments that target the vagus nerve increase the vagal tone and inhibit cytokine production. Both are important mechanisms of resiliency. The stimulation of vagal afferent fibers in the gut influences monoaminergic brain systems in the brainstem that play crucial roles in major psychiatric conditions such as mood and anxiety disorders. In line, there is preliminary evidence for gut bacteria to have beneficial effect on mood and anxiety, partly by affecting the activity of the vagus nerve. Since the vagal tone is correlated with capacity to regulate stress hormones and can be influenced by breathing, it in increase through meditation and yoga likely contribute to resilience and the mitigation of mood and anxiety symptoms. The bi-directional communication between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract, the so-called brain-gut axis, is based on a complex system, including the vagus nerve, but also sympathetic, the pre- vertebral ganglia, endocrine, immune, and humoral links as well, as the influences of gut microbiota in order to regulate gastrointestinal homeostasis and to connect emotional and cognitive areas of the brain with gut functions. The NS produces more than 30 neurotransmitters and has more neurons than the spine. Hormones and peptides that the ENS releases into the blood circulation cross the blood-brain barrier and act synergistically with the vagus nerve, for example, to regulate food intake and appetite. The brain-gut axis is becoming increasingly important as a therapeutic agent for gastrointestinal and psychiatric disorders, such as inflammatory bowel disease, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. The gut is an important control center of the immune system, and the vagus nerve has immunomodulatory properties. As a result, this nerve plays important roles in the relationship between the gut, the brain, and inflammation. There are new treatment options for modulating the brain-gut axis, for example, vagus nerve stimulation, BNS, and meditation techniques. These treatments have been shown to be beneficial in mood and anxiety disorders, but also in other conditions associated with increased inflammation. In particular, gut-directed hypnotherapy was shown to be effective in both irritable bowel syndrome and IBD. Finally, the vagus nerve also represents an important link between nutrition and psychiatric neurological and inflammatory diseases. Basic anatomy of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve carries an extensive range of signals from digestive systems and organs to the brain and vice versa.
It is a tenth cranial nerve extending from its origin in the brainstem through the neck and the thorax down to the abdomen. Because of its long path through the human body, it has also been described as the wanderer nerve. The vagus nerve exits from the medulla oblongata in the groove between the olive and the inferior cerebral pentacle, leaving the skull through the middle compartment of the jugular foramen. In the neck, the vagus nerve provides required innervation to most of the muscles of the pharynx and the larynx, which are responsible for swallowing and vocalization. In the thorax, it provides the main parasympathetic supply to the heart and stimulates a reduction in the heart rate. In the intestine, the vagus nerve regulates the contraction of smooth muscles and glandular secretion. Preganglionic neurons of vagal efferent fibers emerge from the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus nerve located in the medulla and innervate the muscular and mucosal layers of the gut, both in the lamina propria and the muscularis externa. The celiac branch supplies the intestine from proximal duodenum to the distal part of the descending colon. The abdominal vagal afferents include mucosal mechanoreceptors, chemoreceptors, and tension receptors in the esophagus, stomach, and proximal small intestine, and sensory endings in the liver and pancreas. The sensory afferent cell bodies are located in node-dose ganglia and send information to the nucleus tractus solitare. The NTS projects the vagal sensory information to several regions of the central nervous system, such as the locus coroleus LC, the rostral ventrolateral medulla, the amygdala, and the thalamus. The vagus nerve is responsible for the regulation of the internal organ functions, such as digestion, heart rate, and respiratory rate, as well as vasomotor activity, and certain reflex actions, such as coughing, sneezing, swallowing, and vomiting, its activation leads to the release of acetylcholine at the synaptic junction with secreting cells, intrinsic nervous fibers, and smooth muscles. Acetylcholine binds to nicotinic and muscarinic receptors and stimulates muscle contractions in the parasympathetic nervous system. Animal studies have demonstrated a remarkable regeneration capacity of the vagus nerve. For example, subdiaphragmatic vogotomy introduced induced transient withdrawal and restoration of central vagar, vagal afferents, as well as synaptic plasticity in the NTS. Further, the regeneration of vagal afferents in rats can be reached 18 weeks after subdiaphragmatic vagotomy, <clears throat> even though the efferent re innervation of gastrointestinal tract is not restored even after 45 weeks. Functions of the vagus nerve The role of the vagus and the functions of the autonomic nervous system. Alongside the sympathetic nervous system and the enteric nervous system, ENS, the parasympathetic nervous system represents one of the three branches of the autonomic nervous system. The definition of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems is primarily anatomical. The vagus nerve is the contributor of the parasympathetic nervous system. Other three parasympathetic cranial nerves are the nervous oculomotoris, the nervous 
supercilious and the nervous glossopharyngeus. The most important function of the nerve of the vagus nerve is efferent, bringing information of the inner organs such as the gut, liver, heart, and the lungs to the brain. This suggests that the inner organs are major sources of sensory information to the brain. The gut has the largest surface toward the outer world and might therefore be particularly important sensory organ. Historically, the vagus has been studied as an afferent nerve and as an antagonist of the sympathetic nervous system. Most organs receive parasympathetic afferents through the vagus nerve and parasympathetic afferents through the splenic nerves. Together with the sympathetic nervous systems, the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the regulation of vegetative functions by acting in opposition to each other. The parasympathetic innervation causes a dilation of blood vessels and bronchioles and a stimulation of salivary glands. On the contrary, the sympathetic innervation leads to a constriction of blood vessels a dilation of bronchioles, an increase in heart rate, and a constriction of intestinal and urinary sphincters. In the gastrointestinal tract, the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system increases bowel motility and glandular secretion. In contrast to it, the sympathetic activity leads to a reduction of intestinal activity and a reduction of blood flow to the gut allowing a higher blood flow to the heart and the muscles, and when the individual faces existential stress. The ENS arises from neural crest cells of the primary vagal origin and consists of a nerve plexus embedded in the intestinal wall, extending across the whole gastrointestinal tract from the esophagus to the anus. It's estimated the human ENS contains about 100 to 500 million neurons. This is the largest accumulation of nerve cells in the human body. Since the ENS is similar to the brain regarding structure, function, and chemical coding, it has been described as a second brain, or the brain within the gut. It consists of two ganglionated plexuses, the submucosal plexus, which regulates gastrointestinal blood flow and controls the epithelial cell's functions and secretion, and the myoenteric plexus, which mainly regulates the relaxation and contraction of the intestinal wall. The NS serves as intestinal barrier and regulates the major enteric processes, such as immune response, detecting nutrients, motility, microvascular circulation, and epithelial secretion of fluids, ions, and bioactive peptides. There clearly is communication between the vagal nerve and the ENS, and the main transmitter is a cholinergic activation through nicotinic receptors. Interaction of ENS and the vagal nerve as a part of the uh, central nervous system leads to a bi-directional flow of information. On the other hand, the ENS in the small and large bowel also is able to function quite independent of vagal control as it contains full reflex circuits, including sensory neurons and motor neurons. They regulate muscle activity and motility, fluid fluxes, mucosal blood flow, and also mucosal barrier function. ENS neurons are also in close contact to cells of the adaptive and innate immune system and regulate their function and and activities. Aging and cell loss in the ENS are associated with complaints such as constipation, incontinence, and evacuation disorders. The loss of the ENS in the small and large intestine may be life-threatening, whereas the loss of the vagal nerve in these areas is not. Vagus nerve as a link between the central and the enteric nervous system. The connection between the CNS and the ENS, also referred to as the butt, <laughs> brain-gut axis, 
enables the bidirectional connection between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. It is responsible for monitoring the physiological homeostasis and connecting the emotional and cognitive areas of the brain with the peripheral intestinal functions, such as immune activation, intestinal permeability, enteric reflex, and endo endocrine signaling. signaling. This brain-gut axis includes the brain, the spinal cord, the autonomic nervous system, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and ENS, and the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA axis. The vagal efferents send the signals down from the brain to gut through efferent fibers, which account for 10 to 20% of all fibers in the vagal efferents up from the intestinal wall to the brain, accounting for 80 to 90% of all fibers. The vagal afferent pathways are involved in the activation regulation of the HPA axis, axis, which coordinates the adaptive responses of the organism to stressors of any kind. Environmental stress, as well as elevated systemic pro-inflammatory cytokines, activates the HPA axis through secretion of the corticotropin releasing factor, CRF, from the hypothalamus. The CRF release stimulates endocorticotropic hormone, HCTH, secretion from the pituitary gland. This stimulation, in turn, leads to cortisol release from the adrenal glands. Cortisol is a main stress hormone that affects many human organs including the brain, bones, muscles, and body fat. Both neural, vagus, and hormonal, hormonal HPA axis lines of communication combine to allow brain to influence the activities of intestinal, hypo, intestinal functional effector cells, such as immune cells, epithelial cells, enteric neurons, smooth muscle cells, interstitial cells of cagel and enterochromaffrin cells. These cells, on the other hand, are under the influence of the gut microbiota. The gut microbiota has an important impact on the brain-gut axis, interacting not only locally with intestinal cells and ENS, but also directly influencing endocrine neuroendocrine and metabolic systems. Emerging data support the role of the microbiota in influencing anxiety and depressive-like behaviors. Studies conducted on germ-free animals demonstrated that microbiota influence stress reactivity and anxiety-like behavior and regulate the set point for HPA activity. Thus, these animals generally show a decreased, decreased anxiety and an increased stress response with augmented levels of ACTH and cortisol. In case of food intake, vagal afferents innervating the gastrointestinal tract provide a rapid and discrete account of digestible food as well as circulating and stored fuels, while vagal efferents together with the hormonal mechanisms co-determine the rate of nutrient absorption, storage, and mobilization Histological and electrophysiological evidence indicates that visceral afferent endings of the vagus nerve in the intestine express a diverse array of chemical and mechanical sensitive receptors. These receptors are targets of gut hormones and regulatory peptides that are released from endo enteroendocrine cells of the gastrointestinal system in response to nutrients by dissension of the stomach and by neuronal signals. They influence and control of food intake and regulation of satiety, gastric emptying, and energy balance by transmitting signals arising from the upper gut to the nucleus of the solitary tract of the brain. Most of these hormones, such as the peptide cholecytokinin CCK, Glaroline and leptin are sensitive to the nutrient contents in the gut and are involved in regulatory short-term feelings of hunger and satiety.
Cholecystokine regulates gastrointestinal functions, including inhibition of gastric emptying and food intake through activation of CCK1 receptors on vagal afferent fibers, innervating the gut. In addition, CCK is important for secretion of pancreatic fluids and producing gastric acid, contracting the gallbladder, decreasing gastric emptying, and facilitating digestion. The gastrointestinal tract is the key interface between food and the human body and can sense basic taste in much the same way as the tongue. Through the use of similar G protein coupled taste receptors, different taste qualities induce the release of different gastric peptides. Bitter taste receptors can be considered as potential targets to reduce hunger by stimulating the release of CCK. Further activation of bitter taste receptors stimulates ghrelin secretion and therefore affects the gastric nerve. Vagus nerve as modulator of intestinal immune homeostasis. The gastrointestinal tract is constantly confronted with food antigens possible pathogens, and symbiotic intestinal microbiota that present a risk factor for intestinal inflammation. It is highly innervated by vagal fibers that connect the CNS with intestinal immune system, making vagus a major component and the, the neuroendocrine immune axis. This axis is involved in coordinated neural, behavioral, and endocrine responses, important for the first-line defense against inflammation. For example, in response to pathogens and other injurious stimuli, tumor necrosis factor alpha, a cytokine, is produced by activating microphages, dendritic cells, and other cells in the mucosa together with prostaglandins and interferons. TNFA is an important mediator of local and systemic inflammation and increases cause the cardinal clinical signs of inflammation, including heat, swelling, pain, and redness. Counter-regulatory mechanisms such as Im immunological competent cells and Anti-inflammatory cytokines normally limit the acute inflammatory response and prevent the spread of inflammatory mediators into the bloodstream. Further, there is hardwired connection between the nervous and immune system functions as in anti-inflammatory mechanisms. The dorsal vagal co complex comprising the sensory nuclei of the solitary tract, the area postrema and the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus responds to increased circulating amounts of TNF by altering motor activity in the vagus nerve. The anti-inflammatory capacities of the vagus nerve are mediated through three different pathways. The first pathway is the HPA axis, which has been described already. The second pathway is the splenic sympathetic anti-inflammatory pathway, where the vagus nerve stimulates the splenic sympathetic nerve. Norepinephrine, noradrenaline, released at the distal end of the splenic nerve, links to the adrogenic receptor of splenic lipokytes that release ACH. Finally, ACH inhibits the release of TNF by spleen macrophages through a nicotinic receptors. The last pathway, called the cholerogenic anti-inflammatory pathway, is mediated through vagal efferent fibers that synapse onto enteric neurons, which in turn release ACH at the synaptic junction with macrophages.
ACH binds to a nicotinic receptors of those macrophages to inhibit the TNF. Compared to the HPA axis, the CAIP has some unique properties, such as a high speed of neural conductance, which enables an immediate modulatory input to the affected region of inflammation. Therefore, the CAIP plays a crucial role in the intestinal immune response and homeostasis and presents a highly interesting target for the development of novel treatments for inflammatory diseases related to the gut immune system. The inflammation sensing and inflammation sense suppressing functions outlined above provide the principal components of the inflammatory reflex. The appearance of pathogenic organisms activates innate immune cells that release cytokines. These in turn activate sensory fibers that ascend in the vagus nerve to synapse in the nucleus tractus solitaris. Increased efferent signals in the vagus nerve suppress peripheral cytokine release through macrophage nicotinic receptors and the CAIP. Thus, experimental activation of the CAIP by direct electrical stimulation of the efferent vagus nerve inhibits the synthesis of TNF in the liver, spleen, and heart and attenuates serum concentrations of TNF. Vagus nerve stimulation. Vagus nerve stimulation is a medical treatment that is routinely, routinely used in the treatment of epilepsy and other neurological conditions. VNS studies are not just clinically, but also scientifically informative regarding the role of the vagus nerve in health and disease. This is the ending now of part one.